Hey guys, so today I am bringing you the 2.6 update, and I think this is a phenomenal update. I mean, this is packed full with goodies, and I mean, I would say go check it out, read it, but I'll try my best to cover everything, and I'm going to try to cover the high stuff, and I'll dive in a little bit of the smaller stuff, but let's get into it. Uh, first off, add a new game mode, terminal attack. It's definitely a, uh, you want a squad to play this game mode, it's a 5v5. Very similar to kind of like CSGO, one life. Best out of seven, just kind of diving into a little bit. Your player can regenerate up to 100 HP, but the medium's ability for the healing gun, not a thing. No reviving, your gadgets don't regenerate. So if you chuck both, both grenades, that's it till the next round. Another cool thing is the destruction's gonna carry over all seven rounds, pretty cool. Let's see here. We also have, you can do private matches with two players, pretty nice. I didn't, I've not done any private matching, but I think that's pretty nice. You can just do 1v1s. Uh, another pages to the battle pass, which is kind of wild. I've not looked at those, but maybe we'll look at those in a little bit. New power shift place. So you can now go through soul and then some outfit stuff. I think, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. You can actually purchase individual items from bundles. So you don't have to purchase the whole bundle all at once. I'll be curious if they're going to charge you. They broke down the pricing in a way that it's either the same or it's going to be more to purchase individually. I think it'd be okay if they did that. If it's like, I really only want two items. It's going to cost me if I were to purchase bundle, it'd be ch technically cheaper, but I only need those two items. So I'm going to pay. It's cheaper to do it that way, but we'll, we'll see. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, not everyone wants to drop 20 bucks on a, on a full skin that they don't want to use the whole thing. So I like that. That's pretty cool. Some new skins, both for weapons and player skins. My favorite update, the anti-cheat note. Uh, with it being a free to play, cheating is going to be rampant. And I'm just happy that they added a note that we know it's on their radar. They're doing their best. Now, of course, I don't expect them to be telling us, you know, hey, this is everything we're doing to capture anti-cheats. Just because, once again, they make a change, the cheaters make a change, it goes back and forth, right? So I think that's fine. Them saying, you know, we're not going to say everything that we're doing. My favorite thing that they introduced is the report program on Discord. If you let your player base capture this stuff, oh man, this is great. Uh, Steam does this. It lets your community get involved and help out with this. I don't think for cheating you can just rely on software and having a user in the community do it, love it. I think this is great. So let's see here, let's also dive into the balance changes. Barricade increase, cool, fun little change. Dome shield, I didn't really notice this, but cool that the glitch now actually also affects everything past those shields. So love that change. They did a lot to the light, a lot of debuffs. So both stun and vanishing bomb slash cloak device. The Stun gun, I'd say 95% of the time he died when he got stunned. So I think this is a nice both buff from distance and debuffs to help players fight back with those stuns. Not so powerful that the stun becomes useless, but allows players to defend themselves. Kudos to that. The vanishing bomb, they're debuffing both this and the cloaking device, making it easier for players to be seen. I think the cloaking device was just a widely used who doesn't like being invisible, <laughs> honestly. I I use it a ton. I think the one that doesn't get used a bunch is probably the grappling hook. They can possibly do, maybe give the grappling hook two charges. That's the only thing I can possibly think of. I mean, they give the, the dash three. I don't, I think the grappling hook, it's, it's to move around. And I don't think just one charge is good enough. We'll see, we'll see what else they do. And so some power shift changes, cool for the maps, I think. One of the fun things that they are changing in these areas is just making it easier to move. Any way you can move, love it. This game is all about, you know, destruction and movement. So if you can make it easier, great. We'll see how this one goes, how much of a debuff it is for to be easier seen. Now, once again, if you don't move, you're pretty much perfectly invisible. For the scar, pretty much everyone was using the scar over the AK. I'm more of an AK guy in all honesty, but when you found a really good scar player, they were destroying. And I think overall, this is a decent change, pushing it more into the long range AR, whereas the AK still kind of sits in that mid range. You'll feel a little bit of less damage in that mid range. So, and then some content bugs fixes, some good audio changes. Everyone loves to be able to hear enemy footsteps better. I would say the one thing that always gets me is like, I'll be running and I can hear my teammates footsteps and it always gets me like, oh, there's an enemy here, but there's really not. This is a good tweak. We'll see 
we'll see how that goes. And then battle pass stuff, we'll look at that later. Uh, for controllers, some stuff for controllers. Pretty much they're just saying go in and restore the defaults. Um, I play on PC, so don't really care. Some gadget stuff, fix an issue with grenades, mines. I never saw this happen. It's right here, this one, where a spectator could trigger mines. That is hysterical. I would be curious if you could, if you were able to cause this to happen every time. <laughs> I mean, talk about <laughs> the true defense right there. Oh man, way to take off players. But yeah, so just some changes overall to just a couple of gadgets. Power shift to soul, some fixes to graphics, some map changes. Let's see here, private matches. We said you can now do 2v2. UI performance on match screens for these private matches, great. Then we rank tournament, they reduced the rank tournament size from 48 to 24 players. I'm kind of interested they did that, but uh, maybe there were some issues with not being able to get enough ranked players. I don't really play ranked, so I think this is a fine change. Probably helps with matchmaking. Yep, matchmaking faster. <laughs> I guess there were crashes, so they made some stability changes, love that. So. Improved melee aim assistance, so that's not only looking for targets when the attack is initiated by the player, but also validates that they are still correct at the time aim correction is applied. This should reduce the number of occasions where melee attacks could pull the player away from a target. And then the anti-cheat, they kind of did more of a bullet point on this section, added a requirement to have secure boot enabled for suspicious players. Several new suspension rules based on anomaly detection, add a suspension rule for using aimbot, tweaks to current anomaly detection and harden the suspension progression system. Like I said, I love that they added something here. I, I think this game probably is riddled with cheaters being free to play, but I love it. I want them to make changes. I want this game to succeed. I think this they are making all the right changes all in the right way, and I couldn't be happier. Like, this is a fun game, and I think they're making some really good moves. So let's dive into the game, see what the new uh, changes are. Go to terminal A. On your tail. New game mode, baby. I think they removed abilities. I love it. I'm really excited to try it out. Let's see what they got for the battle pass. This is how it originally ended was this final skin. We have cool skins. I like that. It's a pretty sweet skin. And then gold grenade, some sweet gold shades, more bandanas. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I like that. And then just kind of a color change to another skin that's already out there, but cool. So they must have only done it for this one here. So 800. So it's a thousand, a hundred. Yeah, so it's more. So if you're just wanting one item, it's gonna be cheaper. Like, let's say, yeah, I don't want these stupid boots or I don't want these leather ass pants. You know, you can just spend the 400 and get the mask. So I like that. I think they probably still should do that to all the packages. That's just my opinion. We'll see. Maybe if we do the edit screen, so do face wear. Yeah, so they've not done it to everything. Hopefully they go back through and do this for all the skins, but for now, cool. They did it for one of them. Hopefully they do it for the, for the foreseeable future. Love that. I think some overall, like I said, great changes, new game mode. I'm really happy about this change. I'll catch you guys out in the finals and you guys have a good one. On behalf of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And 
That's a wrap.